Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Ken Kohlberg. I'm your sports broadcaster on behalf of Arlington Community Media, Inc. I am here today with my color commentator, the illustrious Jim Foster, for a beautiful afternoon of Arlington Boys Varsity Lacrosse. Today, the Spy Ponders take on the ever so tough Wakefield, uh, is it the Wakefield Warriors? Uh, anyway, the no Wakefield squad. Always a tough match. Always a touch ma tough match. This is an interleague matchup. We are here and delighted to be here on behalf of Arlington Community Media, Inc., your local sports cable network. Our uh, cameraman today is Alex Van Thong, AVT, the all-vehicle uh, 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 all terrain. Uh, uh, Felix Ansel is our director today, and Felix Moissand is on second camera. And uh, we are grateful for Arlington Community Media, Inc. Awesome. to be bringing us our third broadcast of the year of Arlington Varsity Boys Lacrosse. The uh, Spy Ponders Foss, they've had a, a, a fairly good season so far. They come into the match at, uh, let's see, what are they in terms of their record, the Spy Ponders? Three and four, I think. Three wins, four losses is, is correct. They're coming off two consecutive losses. They lost a real tough match last week to Woburn in sudden death overtime, nine to eight, and that was quite a game for us. Awesome tilt. Everyone, uh, good thing most of the town was here for that one. Yeah, we had a sellout crowd. Uh, Arlington tied the game late. They never had a lead, but they tied it up at 8-8. Eight, eight. We went into overtime, and... Uh, Unfortunately, the Woburn, the Woburn boys scored quickly and put the fork in Arlington, and we fell to under 500. So uh, Arlington comes into the match, as you say, Foss, with a three wins and four losses record. Wakefield just came back to 500 last, uh, last week with a win over Watertown. So Wakefield comes into the match with a 5-5 record. All right, on the faceoff is number 23, Cully Curran. He's the human vacuum cleaner. He's had uh, multiple ground balls all season long. Number six, the project, Ben Kohlberg, uh, also on the midfield. Field. And on the far midfield, number 22, is Calvin Pike with the long pole. All right, starting defense for Arlington, number 13, this crease defender, John Bowen. He's been outstanding all season long. The left defender is uh, uh, Will Kersey. with another ball, man. He gets better every game. Well, we're going to talk a lot about Carly Carr number 23. He did come every away with the, almost. He did come away with the first ground ball, and Arlington looks to settle down. Anyway, the starting defense on the left is uh, Ben Curcio, number 11, and on the right, is uh, Johnny Pescatori, and uh, again, John Bowen, the senior captain, has been solid all season as crease, at crease defense. All right, Arlington offense number two behind the net in the X position is a sophomore, Jonathan Kerr. He plays it over to number three, uh, Emmett Foster, a uh, senior, uh, senior. Foster plays it over to number 21, Jonathan Capillion, the human Capillion, number 21. He's part of that sophomore class we're going to talk a lot about. He plays it over to number nine, who is Brendan... Uh, Brendan McKenney, who makes a kind of dangerous pass. Yeah, inside. Inside. Uh, McKenney takes it back. He does a little bit of a dipsy doodle. He tries to go left. He's oh, he's covered by number 22. Uh, big stick, a freshman, Matty Petito, a defender. And uh, Foster looks to settle it down. He plays it back to Cully Curran. Cully sends it back over to the human Capillion. Capillion gets tapped again by this number 22. So this number 22 on the far left, he looks like a freshman. His name is Matt Petito. And he's got a twin brother who is Mike Petito. Petito's out on the injured reserve today, I understand. So only two freshmen on the team. They're twins. And uh, only, uh, only Mikey we're going to see today, Foss. I used to have a Laura Petito took care of me when I was a kid. She was a babysitter? She was. Actually, she was a boarder in a house. Stayed at the local college and uh, stayed in a room and helped. Here goes Foster! Foster shot! Where'd it go? He sat, I think he sat on it. Oh, Ryan. So it's, I think it's Ryan Chambers in net. Is that right? People want Ryan Chambers. Thank you. All right. Ryan Chambers is the goalie. He's a senior. And uh, he made the first beautiful save as he robbed Foster. Showing a lot of patience, though, on that offensive yeah. side. And it's, by the way, gentlemen, it's Wakefield Warriors. Is that right? Yeah, Wakefield Warriors. All right, so the Warriors, with their first possession, they look to settle it down. Here's number 19, a senior, Daniel Kerrigan. Kerrigan plays it into the middle to a sophomore, Dan Guarino. And Guarino looking to take it around the horn. Uh, and he finds uh, Luke DeMella. DeMella plays it behind. And so the Warriors take it nicely around the horn for their first possession. Capillion on the hunt. A shot deflected wide, and it's going to be Warriors' ball. Lori Pescatori comes into the house. There she is. I hope she can find somewhere to sit. Yeah, there's some open seats here. The crowds come into these games a little bit late, leisurely crowd. But we've got the crowd filling up here, the stands filling up. It's a big matchup today, Foss. This is an interleague matchup. 
Both teams trying to get into the playoffs. You got to beat 500 to get in the playoffs. Wakefield is currently 500 at five and five, but the Spy Ponders are a game behind at three and four. All right, here's some penetration Good day. by number 25. This is uh, Alexander Jolie. Nice shot. And there's a shot. It's wide, but it's blocked up. Uh, it's it's uh, followed nicely by Jolie. And so the, uh, the Warriors will retain possession here. Bowen on Jolie. Here's a nice matchup. Two big kids. Jolie can get in there, and he's a tough kid, but he's knocked down. He puts some lumber on Curran. And uh, Kerr comes away with it. Kerr plays it over. He was a house coming through there. He was a house. We're going to have to put two bodies on him. <laughs> Here's Johnny Pescatori. He's a senior. I heard Pescatori has committed to URI next year. He likes to be on the beach. Lori Pescatori, uh, uh, also a big fan of the beach. He was... Uh, uh, in some of the uh, Baywatch uh, tryouts. All right, so here's number 25, uh, someone to watch, Alexander Jolie. He is a senior attacker. Jolie plays it with the left hand up top to Robert Ke uh, Keegan. Keegan looking to settle it down. He plays it over to Robert Guida, a midfielder, also a senior. A lot of seniors on this Wakefield roster, Foss, whereas the Arlington team has uh, kids of all ages, a lot of sophomores. We've got Curran out there with Brendan who's a junior, and there's a shot. He shot it wide, and it's going to be Will Kerr. Yes. Well done. All right, let's, let's get a clean clear here. Yeah, Will Kerr hustled after that, and he got possession for Arlington, and let's see if the boys can clear the ball. He's got 21 Capillion. No one's picking up Kerr. Kerr looks to settle. Kerr brings it out to the 40. He's going to try to find somebody. He's backed up by Curcio and Pescatori. Kerr looks to go uh, deep, and it's deflected. Who's coming away with that one? First. It is going to be a ground ball for number Hedgy. one, Michael Hedges, the hedgehog, his first grounder of the day. All right, so Hedgie looks to build a little bit of possession here for Arlington. He plays back up top to Cully Curran. Curran sends it back over across to Jonathan Capillion. Capillion going the wrong way backwards, but now he's looking to ISO on number 19. Dan Kerrigan. Kerrigan plays good D. Capillion with the left. He runs out of real estate. He plays it up top to Hedgehog. Hedgehog with a shot. He shot it wide. No, that was 17. That oh, was that was the 17? Other, uh, oh, that's uh, Brendan, uh, Justin McKinney. Yeah, part of McKinney LLC. Yeah, McKinney LLC. They were outstanding against Woburn. Justin never saw a shot he didn't like, though. All right, John Kerr in the exposition takes it behind the net. He's looking for some high cutters. He doesn't find any. Good D, good D. It is good defense. Goes back to Capillion. Capillion sees Curran, but doesn't send it over to him. And here comes Justy. Justy plays it with the right over to Curran, and there's a whistle. What happened? Not sure what happened there. Do you have to keep in the box? Again, you can explain some of the rules to me. Yeah, no, I don't know what the possession situation was there. Uh, and C look at Cully is on the hunt. As he's trying to stop number 27, Robert Keegan. Keegan plays it behind the net to Alexander Jolie. Jolie looks to settle it down, and the uh, Warriors look to bring it around the horn. All right, gorgeous day for lacrosse this afternoon. 65 degrees and sunny. We are at Mary Pierce Field. I'm Ken Colbert, your sports broadcaster for Arlington Community Media, Inc. I'm here with the Foss man, Jim hey Foster. Yo. That was my Ed McMahon, by the way. And we are scoreless uh, with six minutes left in the first quarter. There's only really been one shot uh, meaningful. That was Foster, and he was sa it was a nice save by Chambers, there's a shot, he shot it wide, and it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be uh, Wakefield ball. All right, taken behind the net by number 14, Tyler Drago, the dragon. <laughs> Wakefield boys look to settle so is far. Drago the number 25? Drago is 14. Oh, okay. Tough angle. Ooh, I didn't see that, is that a goal? Yeah. Who got it? 25, I believe, shot lefty. Um, that was the, the house, Jolie, Alexander. Uh, Alexander Jolie. That was, he snuck that in lefty. We gotta, we'll keep good. an eye on him. All right, so Jolie is going to be a problem for the Arlington boys, and it looks like they make an adjustment, and they're putting Bowen on him, number 13. Look at the two of them. My goodness. They look like twins out there. All right. <laughs> Number 24 on the faceoff this time uh, for Arlington is Leo Manitti, not on the faceoff, but on the left wing, and Calvin Pike on the other side, and it's going to be Cully Curran. Is that Cullen or Hedge? Or Hedgy? I believe it's Hedgy. Is it Hedgy? All right, yes, Hedgy in a fight. One. And oh, it's won by a big stick, number three, Ryan Fitzpatrick, oh, here got a, a senior defender. Control, ball control. And so. Set it out, set it out. And so the uh, 
The Wakefield boys win the faceoff. They got a one goal lead and they got some possession here. And this guy with Lock the big stick, stick staying on attack. He's taking a shot. He shots go. We got to put a body on that kid. All right, here's another problem. Ryan Fitzpatrick, he is the senior. Now, interesting thing about Fitzpatrick, he's the only captain on the team this year. They got one captain and it's Fitzpatrick. It's a lot of leadership role. Yeah. Another faces in the crowd. We got uh, Scotty here, who was a youth coach for the kids oh, and, yeah? and coached some of the seniors here. He's now the, the club uh, lacrosse coach at UNH. Great to have him here at the game today. Interesting. We got a little bit of uh, information on Ryan Fitzpatrick. He is a UMass Amherst commit to play lacrosse next year. There we go. And. Uh, yeah. That's a top program. Okay, there's a ground ball for Curran. Curran, oh, he had a fast bro, he had. He oh. drew the penalty, he drew the penalty, but he had Brendan McKenney on a fast break and uh, didn't see him. You know some alumni UMass players, Yes, I do, okay. yes, I do. Familiar with a couple, uh, maybe? Well, I was there on Saturday to see my niece, Casey Keene, play her last game as a varsity women's lacrosse player, uh, her last home game. They're going to the tournament this weekend again in Richmond, Virginia, the NCAAs. But UMass Amherst women's program has been outstanding. When I was there from 82 to 86, we were quite a good program. We uh, had Coach Dick Garber, who was the, uh, the head coach at that time. Now the field is named after uh, Dick Garber. Rest in peace. All right, 2 nothing ball game here. Uh, Arlington with a man-up situation, looking to maybe get onto the board. He goes with Foster, Care, uh, Brendan uh, McKenney, Justin McKenney. Oh my goodness! With the ball. Yeah, you gotta hold on to possession. Justy on the hunt. He tries. He. Oh, hunt. great hustle by Justin McKenney. But oh, we'll, uh, the Wakefield comes away with it. Justin did a nice job there. keeping it in. Step up. Another big stick. Another big stick. But he lost it. But a nice run up the field there by the freshman Matty Petito. And here comes Cully Curran. It's a fast break situation right here. As the numbers up, Curran over to Foss. Foster. Oh, oh, he well looked for Hedgie. It was deflected by Woburn. Hedgie, Hedgie keeps it in. Nice thought there. Yeah, it was a good look. Skipped a man. Hedgie plays it behind the net over to uh, Justin. Justin McKenney over to John Kerr. Kerr back over to Foss. Yeah. Foss looking to swing. He does swing it. He swings it over to Capillion. Capillion. Penalty's over. Penalty's over. Both teams back at even strength. All right, Arlington down 2 0. This is a kind of a critical possession here, Foss. They've got to at least get a shot on goal here. Uh, Kerr plays it back over to Foster. Foster, number three, he is a Maryland, uh, intend, uh, attending University of Maryland next year. He's a senior. Eight club lacrosse teams they have down there. Yeah, well, hopefully Quite Foss will get, Foss will get on one to. of them. Hopes to. Well, Maryland is a hotbed of lacrosse. It always has been. Yes, sir. All right, so Foster looks to get in, and he does get in, and he shoots, and he scores! Oh, and he draws the penalty! penalty. Well, Foster had the Hattie last week against Woburn, Foss, and uh, I know he's a child who's near and dear to your heart, but putting everything aside, he's having a breakout season. Yeah, he's all right. Well, no, he's more than all right. <laughs> last game, actually, you recall, he also had a, a beautiful assist, and here he draws a penalty, and uh, he was a little banged up last game, though. Is he okay? He has uh, been uh, taking a, a lot of time with the heat pads, uh, with the foam roller. Uh. Yeah, he's absorbed some contact. He's the sort of player who's, who does absorb contact. All right, Arlington now with a man up. On the midfield line, it's going to be Curran. Here's an important possession and an important face-off Foss for Cully Curran. I know he wins most of them, but here's a, here's a chance where... Is that uh, Wakefield's captain facing off? Yeah, yeah, that's what they do. They does got it Fitz, all? Yeah, Fitzpatrick does it all. He's a UMass commit, senior captain. And he has been the man for Wakefield. But Curran, but Curran is a football player. Look at Curran. And look go. at Curran. Oh, Curran, Curran again. Spectacular. Oh, and Fitzpatrick didn't like it. Fitzpatrick did not like it. One bit. He's at every faceoff, he gets better. Yeah. Cully Curran has uh, just been the human vacuum cleaner all season long. All right, so the Arlington boys look to get another shot. They play it over to Kerr on the right. He goes back up to Foster up top. Foster over to uh, uh, Brendan McKenney, the junior. McKenney over to F uh, F uh, Foster. Foster to Kerr. Kerr. Who's this 23? That's Cully. There's Cully. I don't know what he was doing there. Looked like for some reason he threw it at think, number 77. Yeah, tried to see someone in the crease, I think. Either that or he was passing it to number 77, Zach yeah. Brissett. But someone's got to tell Curry, the, Cully, the guys in the red shirts, Foss, they're on the other team. Okay, we want to go white, right? Yeah, white. exactly. That's what I'm saying. Oh, my uh, goodness. they got to take again. care of the ball. Yeah, the Arlington boys got to take care of the ball. Kerr was looking to maybe get a shot there. He's got uh, 
Uh, he's got uh, Foster is in the crease. He's high tight in the crease. All right, now that we're back to even. And Cully tries to sneak in there. Cully's not afraid to take it in. Slam dunk almost. Yeah. Oh, it's been a good half. It's been a good quarter for us. Two to one is the, the guess. Remember uh, the Gate brothers from Syracuse? Oh yeah, Gary Gate. He was one of probably the best lacrosse player of all time. Awesome. I saw him play. They used to have that air gate. Oh they, yeah. They jump from behind the net. I remember. And we dunk it in. I think it's illegal. Now. It was the Gate brothers. He had a twin brother. I don't know if he's a twin. Gary. Gary. Yeah, but he had a brother, and they put the. They were the ones who got the uh, pro lacrosse league on the map out in. I forget where I they started. I believe was it Syracuse. Where they play out? Sy no. Oh, both Philly. At, no, both at Syracuse. Oh. Oh, post. They played college at Syracuse, but yes. when they played pro... I, you know what? I don't know. Yeah. I was... I recall, I believe Gary might have been, like, the first lacrosse player to make a living playing this. Yeah, exactly. That's right. And I think it was for Philadelphia. But we'll get some, uh, we'll get some information on they that. They were some spectacular... Uh, oh, yeah. Talk about clean balls. I saw them their sophomore year in the Dome. I don't think the team dropped a ball. Yeah. Yeah. And they played in orange chucks, too, on the turf. Yeah, it's high level That's stuff. That's a nice fact. <laughs> that is a nice fact. All right, Curry takes a little breather. He's replaced by Michael Hedges. Hedgie gets a touch here from uh, Brendan McKenney. McKenney sends it over to Hedgie. Hedgie goes to the human Capillion. Capillion sends it over to Foster, and Foster looks to Dilly Dally both, on the both right. offense is very patient today. Yeah, very patient. Arlington boys, they've got a game plan, clearly. They're in, you know, Foster, he, the, this is the Pocock era. This is the first-year coach, David Pocock, and he has done a wonderful job with the boys this year. He's a UVA grad who played at the University of Virginia, and he has brought some substance oh, to, uh, to the Arlington team. So Foster got uh, dispossessed there in tight, and Wakefield looks with a nice little clear. Uh-oh, oh, I spoke too ball. soon, and good hustle ball. by Hedgie. Oh, what a play by number eight. Great Bra stick handling. Mason there. Brennan, the magician. Houdini. Houdini Brennan, <laughs> number eight. That was something else. He's a, oh, they got him listed as an attacker, but he's playing defense today, huh? Interesting. Maybe he's going off to switch sticks, who knows? Who knows? Oh, okay, we got a wrong number on this roster. Eight is not, eight is Cam Souza. Eight, okay. Yeah, Cam yeah, Souza, okay. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, go ahead, let me get there. Short time, Jerry. So eight is uh, Cam Souza, all right. So we got a half a minute left. Arlington trailing by a goal to the Wakefield Warriors in the first quarter. It's been a very even game so far. And uh, oh, here comes they got to put a body on this kid. They let they let uh, they let Alexander Jolie in, but he, he missed on that, the shot. Uh, but kind of lefty side door. He does. There. Yeah, you got to shut him down, Mr. Bowen. You got to shut him down. Alexander Angelina Jolie. They call him. And there's a shot. It's it's uh, blocked. Uh, it's shot wide, but Jolie keeps it in. All right, five seconds left. We know what they're going to do here. Where are the slides? Where are the slides, boys? Quicker, quicker. Two. Tried it again. Yeah, they tried it again, but they stopped them. All right, so we're at the end of the first quarter. Foss, it's been an incredibly competitive uh, first quarter of well lacrosse done. here at Pierce Field. Straight up. Excuse me, do you know who number six is? Chance. Just give me a shout if you figure right. it out. Yeah. Because we had Cam Souza at six, that's why. Thank you. All right, so we're, so we're, uh, we're uh, clarifying some uh, roster uh, numbers here, but uh, we've got them pretty much uh, straightened out here. We are at Pierce Field in Arlington. The Spy Ponders trail the uh, Wakefield Warriors by a goal at the end of the first quarter. It's been a pretty uh, exciting game so far. Not too much in terms of shots. Arlington goal scored by number three, uh, Emmett Foster. And the, uh, uh, the fans are trickling in. There's still some good seats left. Yeah, there are still some good seats left, but, uh, but not many. No. Uh, we, have our, we have the all-star crew here today from Arlington Community Media, Inc. We've got uh, Felix Masson on second camera. He's a delight to have always. And Felix Ansel is our director today. And, of course, as I mentioned, uh, the one and only uh, Alex Van Thong, AVT, the all-vehicle all, uh, all terrain is, uh, is here as well. I saw Kevin Wetmore in the house earlier, k -Wed. It was nice for him to stop by. And the ACMI have been great supporters this year of the Arlington Boys Varsity Lacrosse team, as they have for many of the Arlington Varsity what Sports teams. What a production. Teams. It's a tremendous really production. Really impressed by yeah. 
the whole setup and uh, the professionalism here. Yeah, you go to ACMI on the web, you can see all our broadcasts. They, they're posted on YouTube. Okay, here comes a face-off for Arlington. It is going to be uh, ben, uh, on the far side is number six, Benjamin Kohlberg. Uh, on number 22 with the long pole is Calvin Pike. Uh, and Taking the face off is number 23, the senior, Cully Curran. Now, let's talk a moment about Cully Curran. Cully is uh, a three-sport, multi-sport athlete. He's going to be playing football next year, recruited for Framingham State. He also plays hockey. He was a member of the Super 8 championship team as a junior, a big contributor there. And, uh, and as you can see, Foss, uh, What a he's, match. Were you at that game? Oh, too? I was. Oh, I was. But lacrosse now is Cully's sport in season. You know, the true uh, multi-sport athletes, you know, focus on whatever's in season, and Cully has been focused all season long. And here comes a ground ball. Who's under there? It's Calvin Pike. Kohlberg in there trying to get it. Push. And it's going to be... Looks like a push on Arlington. No, I think our ball. No, oh, it's Arlington ball. Here's a touch for Kohlberg. What's he see? He's got a little bit of space. He plays it over to... Uh, That's Emmett. He plays it over to Emmett, and then for some reason he leaves the field. Uh, the fans are a little dis disappointed there. They want to see some flash out of that young man. <laughs> But uh, he'll go back to the pine. All right. So there's uh, Brendan McKenney. McKenney sends it over to Foster. Foster with a little bit of left hand there. Foster playing with the left. He tries, sends it into Care. Care with a little bit of uh, mischief behind the net. I think maybe he heard your last broadcast. And maybe he did. And there's another game. potential turnover for Arlington. And we got Brendan McKenney who did a, uh, you know, he submarined him. He's, yeah, his interference. He submarined uh, that kid. Who did, what the number is this kid? Now, this kid wants his money back because he was submarine. That is uh, number, number 10. 10. Brought it up. That is... He's not on the roster. We don't know. Yeah. The mystery man, number 10, got submarined. All right. So here we are, 11 minutes left in the half. The Wakefield Warriors with possession of the ball, a one, uh, not too comfortable one-goal lead. Over on the right there, that referee is Patty Barrett, a uh, longtime Arlington uh, native. Terrific hockey player. I don't know who the other ref is, but I don't know. You know Pat Barrett over there? See him standing next to these two? Uh, the ref over I there? I do not. Yeah, Patty Barrett. Father of Samantha Barrett, a tremendous hockey and lacrosse player from Arlington. All right. There's a shot. Oh, he nailed Pesca Pescatori. Took one for the team. Didn't even flinch. No, look at Pescatori. There's a ground ball. And Calvin Pikes. All no, right, it's, no, it's Cully. It's Cully. Ah, Cully with a big hit. Played the Cully body. playing football. He played the body Cully right was there. Even, and he comes away with it. There <laughs> comes Curran. And Curran floats it into Care. And Care finds the magician. And then magic back to Care. Oh, give and go. And there's a one, two. Ah. My oh, goodness! Don't force it. We Just got, flagged, we got pummeled. Wow, that a tremendous was action! Oh, beautiful give and go by the Arlington boys, and the Wakefield fans start to sense they might be in trouble on the road. Making them sweat. Yeah. Great execution. Unbelievable execution. All right, Arlington goes to the man up with 10 minutes left in the half. It's going to be number 21, Jonathan Capillion, the human Capillion up top. He's got Emmett Foster on his left, and he's got Brendan McKenney on his right. Down deep on the left-hand side is uh, Justy McKenney, Justin the Magician. On the crease is, uh, looks like, uh, who do they send into the crease? That's Capillion in the crease. Here's John Care, Care ever so patient. The uh, Wakefield boys pressuring a little bit on the man down. Interesting. Uh, Cully Curran is buzzing the crease, and uh, you're allowed to do that in lacrosse. And so here come the spy ponders. Brendan fakes the shot. Oh, Patient. Nice yeah, play by Brendan. Smart choice. Let's make the passes. Stick side, stick height, boys. There's going to be a turnover. Come on. Uh, Arlington has struggled a little bit today with their turnovers. Bre uh, Justy with a shot. He shot it wide, and it's backed up nicely by number 23. Turn. Cully Curran. Okay, so the Arlington boys on the power play. Down by a goal. Care. Over to Curran. Over to the elder McKenney. McKenney to the younger McKenney. Back to the elder McKenney. The elder trying to get that lefty shot off. Number nine, Johnny Busick. And McCare trying to get in, and he tries to get in, but he can't. Uh, and oh, it's a nice hit. Good man ball. No, that was Emmett, though. Nice Justin. Justin. Fi yeah, Jonathan. beautiful pass, that Jonathan Care. There we go. And from, uh, from, Brendan, um, from Justin McKenney, 
An assist for McKenney and John Kerr, the Good sophomore. Stick yeah, beautiful stick work. That's sophomore to sophomore. And here come some more sophomores. Here is uh, number 22, Calvin Pike, with the long stick on the midfield. Cully's going to take the face off, and it's Leo, M Leo M uh, Minetti, uh, the older brother, incidentally, of Sophie Minetti. Uh, actually, the younger brother of Sophie Minetti. A brother. A brother. All right. So Arlington has tied it up, Foss, with nine minutes left, and we have got a humdinger here, but here comes Fitzpatrick. They better put a body on him. Step Fitzpatrick up. is not, oh, he's human. Fitzpatrick is human. <laughs> the shot was not a bounce shot, and it, man, care made it look easy. All right, so the Arlington boys take possession. Here comes John Care, number two, the sophomore. He's got lots of room. He's out, in, out on the pasture. I don't know where he's going, but he sends it back to Cully, and Curry, Cully walking over to Brendan McKenney. McKenney, the Arlington boy's patient today, sends it over to Capillion. Capillion down to Foss, dental Foss. Foss sends it behind the net to Justy McKenney. McKenney back over to Mr. Care. Mr. Care, the younger brother of the Arlington goalie and senior captain, Will Care. Care just made a nice save on Fitzpatrick. And uh, when Fitzpatrick's got the ball, everyone's got to be on their toes as they are. Oh, Foster took a to Dixie. Oh, beautiful play by number 22, Matt Petito, the freshman. And a beautiful clear by Wakefield. And they come, oh, they try to get a fast break, but they can't. And Cullen, Curry, Curry, uh, Curry, Cully is on the hunt. And a touch. And here come the Wakefield boys with a little possession. Seven minutes, 45 seconds left in the first half. Wakefield with possession. It's a tie game, two to two. Alexander Jolie. Number 25 for Wakefield, a man to watch. All right, Wakefield with the ball up top. Settled down by Robert Keegan. Keegan. Over to number 16, Bob Guida. All right, watch him, side door. That's uh, Alex Jolie. Now at the X. Yeah, they put Jolie back at the X. He's a Tomb Raider. All right. Jolie's got both hands going. He's a player. All right, Wakefield patient with the ball. There's a shot. Post. And it hit a... It's either the post or it might have hit off Bowen's tushy. That came off hard. It did. <laughs> I think it might have hit Bowen in the tushy. We'll have to see the replay on that one. But Bowen's unfazed. He's on Jolie. And uh, Jolie thinking twice about taking it to Bowen. I like that matchup. I think Pocock adjusted. He said, look, early in the game, uh, Bowen, you switch and go over cover that kid one-on-one -on -one, because someone's got to be able to stop yeah, him. Wise. Yeah, wise. Look at that. Yeah. Good work. Bowen has got the size and the speed. And there's a that turnover by Wakefield, and Cully Curran floats it across, a buddy pass okay. over to Kohlberg. Out. Here comes Kohlberg. Nice pass over to, ooh. Be there first. Unlucky. Yeah, it looked like it might have been there, but uh, let's see, number 18, Adam Lee was unable to rake it in. Adam Lee, number 18, is a guy to watch. He is the son of the famous Vin Lee. Vin Lee is an Arlington soccer club coach for many, many years. He's one of the one of the uh, seasoned mainstays, veteran. seasoned veteran. Uh, the Lees have like 16 kids in the house. <laughs> oh, beautiful clear by Wakefield, but Carl oh, Cully Curran. Yeah, and Cu so Cu the midfield line. It's Colberg, Curran, and Pike, and uh, it's still a two to two ball game. And Arlington sagging in, looking to play some defense here. Pike with the, uh, with the man with the ball. That's uh, Daniel Kerrigan. Kerrigan hands it back over to Robert Guida. They play it back to X to Jolie. Arlington with some nice defense here. Kohlberg on number 16. He leaves him for Pike. A little bit of space there. And that was a little bit That's dangerous wide. spot. I would have closed that down a little bit, no? Yeah, too, a little too easy to shoot that. Yeah, there. yeah, and it was a good hard bounce shot, but it went wide. All right, so here comes uh, 
Joe Lee, he's got Bowen on him. He's got his real work cut out well for him done. today. Yeah, Bowen, is, Bowen has been so outstanding this season. Now, Foss, I'll say a word about Bowen. There's a lot of football players on this. Oh, Pescatori with a ground ball. Pesky, what do you see? Oh, beautiful clearance, Calvin Pike. And Calvin Pike is hounded, and he's dispossessed. And he tries to win it back. And Justin McKinney, oh, McKinney gets buried by number two. Push. A beautiful hit by Daniel Cattell, though he put a body on Justin McKinney, but it looks like he might have got called for it. All right, what I was saying about the Arlington teams in a, a moment ago about the football players, uh, Bowen is committed also to play football next year at Salve Regina in Newport, Rhode Island. Everyone's heading to the water. Yeah, the people, Pescatori, exactly. Pescatori is going to URI, and, uh, and uh, Bowen is going to Salve. And uh, another beautiful spot. Yeah, yeah. Now, where's Maryland? Is that on the Chesapeake or is that inland? No, it's uh, College Park. It's yeah, where's that? It's really just um, near any water. You know, it's all near water, but no, it's it's probably closer to DC than yeah. it is to yeah, that's water. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. But Annapolis is only like 40 minutes away from College Park, yeah. so yeah. water's close. Well, interesting thing is, God, you, Car Karen is playing football next year at Framingham, and uh, Bowen is playing football next year at Salve, and then uh, who else? Curcio is a football player as well, and he's going, I think he's a commit, someone told me he's going to, is it Stonehill? I think it might be Stonehill. we got to nail that down. But I do think that Car Curcio is going to Stonehill. And he's also a tremendous football player. All right, so here's a ride situation. Pike comes back in with Kohlberg, and Adam Lee, number 18, has got a lot of pop in his step tonight. Uh, he's getting a very nice long shift here. Well deserved. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so here come the Wakefield boys looking to clear. I hope this isn't... Uh, uh, oh, the dipsy doodle. That might. Yeah, that's Fitzpatrick. You better put a body on him. Fitzpatrick. Loose yeah, Loose Fitz ball. Pa Loose ball. Who's coming away with that one? Still Wakefield. Yeah, still Wakefield. All right, three minutes left in the first half, two to two. Foss, we have been treated with some great lacrosse from Arlington this year. You've got to admit, they've been competitive in most games. I would say so. And uh, Coach David Pocock in his first year, his Cinderella year at the helm, and he has done a great job with these. Oh, there's a nice hard shot, a screenshot. Just, just threaded the needle. Yeah, he there. threaded the we needle. Had a great angle there. It went by two helmets and yeah. also the goalie stick. Wow. Yeah, Pescatori's hearing that one like a conch shell. All right, Arlington looks to switch it up on the midfield. It's going to be a face-off opportunity for number one, the hedgehog, Mike Hedges. Hedgy. Calvin Pike stays out there with the long stick, Mitty. And uh, on the far end is number 21, Jonathan Capillion. All right, Foss, let's see if the boys can come up with some possession for the last three minutes, maybe get a, maybe get a shot on net and score the equalizer. That'd be terrific. Critical, critical possession Looks right like here. Foster on attack is uh, on the bench right now. Might uh, that last last shot going through the middle might have banged him up again. Uh oh. So Foster takes a seat. Here's a scrum, and who's coming up? Could Hedgy. it be Hedgy? Get low, Hedgy. Get low. Ground ball for Michael Hedges. Hedgy's been had a, having an outstanding season in his own right. Yeah, uh, he looks Foss. good out there. He's got a lot of pop in his step. He's a fast, smart athlete. Quick good, feet. Quick feet. Exciting player to watch. All right, so uh, Kerr sends it over to Hedgy. Hedgy sends it up top to Brendan McKenney. We have not heard from Brendan yet today, but I'm certain we will. <laughs> uh, Brendan back over to Hedgy. Hedgy goes backwards. He sends it over to uh, Johnny Kerr. Kerr's got a big stick on him in number 26, Alec Pascanatelli. <laughs> what was that? Alec Pascanatelli, excuse me. That's a tough one, Pascanatelli. And Pascanatelli is a senior defender, yeah. Senior defender, nice looking player. All right, Arlington with uh, working it down to the two minute mark. It's a 3 2 game. The spy part is trailed by a goal. Justin McKenney uh, with the ball, looking to take it in. He does a draw and dish and a nice dish to Hedgy. Hedgy with a shot. He shot it wide. Good bounce shot. Hedgy it's shot nice it effort. wide, yeah. And it looks like number 13, Tom, Thomas Harrington, was trying to cover Hedgy, a junior midfielder. And he might have taken a little bit of a tumble there. So 13 limping a little bit. And I think that uh, the Arlington boy's unaware of it. All right. Capillion up top. He's covered by Fitzpatrick. Ryan Fitzpatrick, the defender, senior captain, UMass commit, someone to watch. And uh, 
Fitzpatrick is on Capillion, and Capillion wisely gets rid of it before Fitzpatrick can dispossess him. Behind the net to care. Timeout. And we've got our timeout, and it looks like it's going to be an Arlington timeout. All right, so Pocock looking to set up a set piece here with two minutes, a uh, minute and 40 seconds left in the half. And uh, let's see, Foss, this will be interesting to see what the Arlington boys can do with an opportunity here with possession and, uh, and a minute left in the, uh, in the half, trailing by a goal to an interleague rival. Something good, I hope. <laughs> well, we gotta hope for something good, being the hometown fans. But you know, we're all uh, we're all in it together. We're, uh, Wakefield, a sister city to Arlington, always a town with tremendous sports, and they always show good sportsmanship. It's been a pleasure over the years to see the always Wakefield. Always strong lacrosse. Program. Always strong in lacrosse, but they got great uh, girls hockey and boys hockey and good baseball and good football. Uh, all good sports uh, coming out of Wakefield. Good girls soccer. It's a delightful afternoon here uh, in the uh, Pierce Field in Arlington. The Spy Ponders looking to get back at 500. They're three wins and four losses on the season. And uh, they've been in a, pretty much every game this year. Uh, they lost a heartbreaker last week to Woburn. I encourage everybody to watch that game on ACMI Foss. That's one. Uh, very, that was a very exciting. Very exciting Especially game. that fast break, uh, 30 seconds left. Uh, you know, oh, yeah. Arlington had a chance to win it and uh, with 30 seconds left. It was 8-8, eight to eight and they had a fast break, and Justy McKenney took a beautiful shot, but it hit the inside of the top crossbar and rolled out. And uh, as a result, the game went into overtime, and uh, it, just very quickly the uh, Woburn boys were able to strike and come away with the win on the road. So Arlington looking to get back to 500 today, and here we go. In the end of the uh, first half, uh, it is John Kerr. Kerr is covered nicely by uh, Matt Petito, the freshman. The hot Petito, they call him. All right, here's ja, uh, Brendan McKenney. McKenney takes it over to the left. <laughs> he's, he's in trouble. He, <laughs> he better get rid of it. He's doing a little bit of dipsy doodle he, there. He didn't want to go back to his right hand there. Here's Capillion. Capillion looking to penetrate. Capillion sends it across to Hedgie. Hedgie's in a little bit of trouble, and he wisely gets out of the scrum. Get on him, get on him, get on him. Don't let him go. Hedgie with a shake and bake. That's the Hedgie shake and bake. He sends it over to McKenney. McKenney brings it over Under to his right hand. Under a minute left is Justy McKenney, the magician. Magic sends it over to... 18, would that be Adam Lee? Adam Lee on the... On the There's a shot, he shot it wide. Right, at least it's shot. Yeah, Adam Lee seconds. earning some minutes today. And he's looking good. I think Lee is a freshman, by the way. Adam Lee is a freshman, number 18. Nice to see. All right, Brendan McKenney sends it back over to Jonathan Capillion, the sophomore. The sophomore into Adam Lee. Lee is hungry. Plays it low to Jonathan Kerr. 20 seconds left. The boys have got to work for a shot here. Here's Hedgie. And uh, the, <laughs> the Wakefield farther from the goal. Yeah, uh, the Wakefield boys are aware of the situation now, and they realize that they got to play some tough D here. And Capillion switches, it, saves the pass. Hedgie gets through. in, he takes a shot, save! Beautiful save! Ryan Chambers said no to the Hedgehog, and we go down to the end of the first half with the Wakefield Warriors with a narrow one-goal lead over the Arlington Spy Ponders, and the fans are going crazy. I don't we, think you can hear them in here, but uh, my God, they're still standing in the way. Yeah, they are standing. All right, we're going to take a break here at the half with the score. The visiting Wakefield Warriors three and the Arlington Spy Ponders two. We'll be back at the uh, start of the next half for Arlington Community Media, Inc. Thank you. I'm Kira Power from the Arlington Sports Update. Are you interested in getting involved in sports broadcasting? Stop by our Studio B at 892 Mass Ave across from the high school or visit us at acmi.tv. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at Pierce Field in Arlington for what has been a thriller in Manila as uh, the Wakefield Warriors are on the road with a one-goal lead over the Arlington Spy Ponders in boys' varsity lacrosse, Middlesex League, 
uh, division battle against two teams that are both in the hunt for a playoff berth, chasing 500. The Warriors are already at 500 at five and five. Spy Ponder is chasing 500 at three and four. Okay, in the midfield, number six, uh, Ben Kohlberg, the project out of Arlington Heights. Um, Cully Curran taking the face off, the human vacuum cleaner, number 23. And Calvin Pike, number 22, with the long pole on the far right. Arlington defense, uh, John Bowen, Ben Curcio, and John Pescatore in the attack is fortunately Emmett Foster's back in the game. And there's a ground ball attempt. And who's coming away with it? Cully Curran! Tries to poke behind him. Colbert on behind him. Oh, nice head! And it's going to be Arlington Balls. Colbert got a stick on number 15. And uh, I've been reminded to take out my gum. People don't like it, so I'm taking it out. But uh, it's too bad because I like it's orange flavored and I like the Did sherbet. Did you get the bubblelicious? Yeah, no, I mean, it's, no, it's, uh, it's, I forget what type of gum I got today. All right, Arlington with the ball. Brendan McKenney plays it back to uh, Johnny Kerr. Sophomore to sophomore, he sends it over to Foster. Now, good news, Foster, number three, uh, Emmett back Foster is back in the game. He's a child near and dear to your heart. Is that fair to say, Foster? Uh, I like him all right. All yeah. right. Well, he's a Terp, or he will be next year in September, God be willing. Cully Curran sends it back over to uh, Justin McKenney, the magician, Houdini. Sends it back over to Cully, and Cully shoots it across to Jonathan Capillion, number 21. Capillion looking to go 1v1. He's bounced out, uh, bounced away, so he settles it back down. He looks to play it up top, and he does to Cully Curran. Curran back to the human Capillion. Capillion sends it over to John Kerr, and the Arlington boys with some nice possession here to start the third quarter. There's a skip pass. Brendan McKenney with a little bit of fake. He didn't fake anybody out, except maybe number three took a little bit of the bait, but Fitzpatrick's a little bit too savvy for that. All right, Brendan McKenney, number nine with the pill. Sends it over to Cully Curran. The Arlington boys looking maybe to work the clock here a little bit under the tutelage of Coach David Pocock. Uh, no rush, certainly, against a team like, uh, like Wakefield. Uh, John Kerr skipping around. He's got... Makes a turn. He sends it over to Capillion. Capillion with a shot. And he shot it high and wide, but it's right. backed up nicely by both Cully Curran and uh, Emmett Foster. All right, so the Arlington boys with possession. Ten minutes left in the third quarter. It's taken behind by Foster. Foster gets Andy with the left hand about the score! Oh. Emmett Foster with the left hand, and he took and he another. Comes up, he comes up holding the ribs again. And he took a hit. Foster is taking it for the team this that year. That was lefty, I believe. Yeah, it was. We're going to have to remove Foster with a spatula from the field when this game is over. I mean, he took a hit. Mikey Pescatori in the house. There's Mikey. All right, tie game, knotted up. And there's Lori Pescatori with the orange pants. Lori, very fashionable. Embracing spring. Yeah, she is. We've got a lot of luminaries in the stands today for the Arlington fans. Cynthia Curran. Too many to count. Cynthia Curran, the uh, proud mother of Cully Curran and Mick Curran and Murphy Curran. Those Currans. That's, uh, that name's become synonymous with excellence here in Arlington. All right, Cully on the draw. Let's see if he can come up with it. He's got Brendan McKenney. We got a penalty on that oh, last get, shot, too. Oh, We're up Arlington one. goes with a man up and a 3-3. I don't know, Foss. This could be our day, or it couldn't be our day. He's got to get it over to Brendan. And, uh, oh, push from behind. Look at that. Yeah. Car Cully Curran tried to do the leapfrog, but Ryan. Not giving up on uh, it. Love to see Patrick. it. He tried to do the leapfrog. Oh, there's a nice hit by Curran. And Arlington boys are pressuring in the man down yeah, situation. Let's it up. And they Get look that to ball double back. it up. Oh, nice hit by Cully as he stood him right up. Lucky for oh, uh, Wakefield to keep holding on to that look ball. Look at Cully Curran. He is on the hunt. And I think he rung his bell. I think so. I think he's he rung his bell. Taking hey, Ryan, number three, he's taking out. himself out. That's yeah. uh, Ryan. No, not Ryan. Yeah, that's Ryan. It is Ryan. Yeah. I think Cully Curran rung his bell. It was a clean hit. And here comes Bowen. Look at, look at Bowen on the hunt. I'd and like to see the pressure. All right, if, see if we can get somebody first. Ball, nope. And Arlington is really looking strong in this half. Bowen looks to stop him. 
All right, watch out for uh, that's number 25, right? Yeah. Alex Jolie. Right, that, where's the slide on Jolie? And he's got Curcio. Side window sniper. Yeah, yeah where Bowen has been playing Jolie. And so, so it looks we, uh, like both teams back, back, yeah, both yep. teams back at even strength. So Wakefield does a nice job killing the power play. And uh, three three. Yeah. We got a tie ball game here. Even and if both, left in the uh, third both teams look very evenly matched. Yeah, it's been a beautiful, evenly matched ball game. Both teams are patient. They've got kids who can catch and throw. The slides have been good for both teams. Very high level lacrosse. I think both coaches got to be very pleased. Uh, Jolie at the X, sneaking up under yeah, the side window. Yeah, Jolie, but he's always Bowen back on him. Good slide. And Bowen is like, bring it. Oh, and a turnover, a, a costly turnover, and Jolie did not like it. All right, here no, we go. No, he didn't like it one bit. Wakefield boys coached by Andrew Lavelle. He's in his out of, out of Bill Ricca High School, a lacrosse player out of Bill Ricca High. He's in his fourth year at the helm for Wakefield. He's done a very nice job with this with this team. Arlington looking to clear John the ball. Kerr. No, Will locking it up. And they to go Hedgie. over to Hedgie. Hedgie's got some steps. Jolie on him. Hedgie looks to skip a pass. And can Hedgie turn it up? And Hedgie does turn it up. What is that? We have, uh, you only have so much to clear? Yeah, is that correct? Yeah, it's a great ride by the Wakefield Warriors as they mm. successfully ride the Spy Ponders, uh, stopping them from clearing the ball. How long do you have to clear? I don't know, but not as long as they took. <laughs> and, uh, and it results I in a... I agree with that logic. Well, you know what? It results in a turnover, Floss. You can't turn the ball over. Possession is Well, basketball is, is 10. I just didn't know if it's the same... Uh, for lacrosse. Oh, oh, big save by Kerr! Great job. Uh, oh, Will Kerr. Oh. He is Reggie Lemelin. Let's get a good clear now. Oh, it's a turnover in Pesky. But Pesky gets back nicely to recover. The boys have got to recover. We may have to remind them uh, we passed the white shirts. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's in the crease. Oh, no. Penalty on Pescatori. He'll go to the sin bin. And Pesky's not happy. Pesky's younger brother, Mikey Pescatori, is here in the stands. Sitting with the lovely Lori. Mikey has become a cross country and track star in his, in his own right. All right, so the Warriors, with a one goal lead and a man up situation, can cause some damage here for the Spy Ponders. And uh, they try to move it in nice and tight, and the shot wide. Oh, he, whose ball is it? It's going to be Wakefield ball. Great hustle by Will Kerr, as he almost kept it. All right, so Curcio. Oh, he let him walk. Oh, big Way save again go, by Will. Kerr. Will Kerr has got tremendous Watch hands. That Look at him. Oh, and, oh, was a, oh, almost. He was looking for number 19, Luki Berducci. And Lukey and couldn't come up with it. The Arlington, Arlington boy, yeah. Arlington issues clearing. Yeah, and ground balls. Oh, Lukey put some lumber on that kid, number 19. Here's a break. Bowen, look at John Bowen. He did not overcommit there. I don't know if you saw that, Foss, but that was a beautiful play by Bowen. A lesser man would have overcommitted. And this Bowen just stripped him again. Uh, again. And the Arlington defense. Wakefield getting a too many opportunities here. But the Arlington defense has been outstanding. John Bowen is keeping everybody organized. And his defensive play there was tremendous. I mean, certainly was. A lesser man would have overcommitted on that seemingly fast break, but Bowen stayed home and saved a goal for Arlington there. And I'll tell you, it was at a pivotal point in the game. We have a 3 3 ball game in, which, in a game which has been won for the ages. And. Uh, it looked like Wakefield was going to have some, some uh, momentum early on when uh, Alexander Jolie had the ball. And a nice yeah. save. And here's a fast break situation. Oh, and Kohlberg is on the hunt. He's trying to come away with it. He stays with it. He kicks it. Oh, he takes That's a nice a hit. And he draws a foul. And we'll oh, take it. He Anything to foul. get us on yeah. the right side there. Kohlberg is going to take the biscuit. The ball is watermelon size for Will yeah. Kerr in the goal today. Yeah. Seeing everything. Yeah. Oh, he took a big hit there. Uh, and he drew the penalty. Uh, and it looks like he's going to be feeling that one. 
but he popped right up. The young sophomore was valiant there in a sea of red, and he paid for it. Fine young man. All right, here we go. He's a fine boy. John Capillion does a skip, and the Bo Arlington boys with the man-up situation have got to come ball. away with the ball here and settle it down. Okay, Foster. and here they do. Here's Foster. Foster tries to loop it around, and he skips a pass, and he finds... Oh! The shot was blocked, but it's picked up nicely by Brendan McKenney. McKenney back over to his brother, Justin McKenney. Justin back to Brendan McKenney. It's McKenney Inc. What's the little guy's name? There's another McKenney over there, a little guy. Oh, shot! Oh, oh, save! A big save! Fast break. Oh, Ryan Chambers. It is a fast break situation for Arlington. I mean, for Wakefield. Okay. Oh, look at again. Bowen. Look at Bowen. has just been outstanding. He's like, come on! But they can't, they won't take it into him. So Arlington defense has been outstanding. There's Curcio on the hunt. Calvin Pike up top, covering up number 16, Robert Guida. Guida's had a nice game. He's got a nice stick. Guida plays it behind the net. There's Pescatore, who's out of the sin bin and back in the game. He's hacking away over there, though. Better be careful with that wand. All right, Wakefield swings it around. Settles it down. Takes it around the horn. Keegan up there, number 27 on top. There's a shot. It's blocked. Off. Uh, there's Kohlberg trying to get it. Oh, he's back in the game. Been off Kohlberg's. Uh, and there's yeah. a hit by Curcio. Curcio does it. Oh. And the temperatures fly. Okay. Gotta be both sides. Number six in the middle of it. Who's that number six again? Oh, uh, I don't know. Six is... Uh, Can't see where that penalty... Uh, who's got the penalty yet? Well, I don't know. It looks like it's going to be... A bit of a melee in the middle of the field. Yeah. Let's see what happens. All right, Arlington, Arlington Ball. Ball. Looks like we're going to be a man up. Arlington Ball. Not quite sure what the penalty was or who it was on. No. Kate Lucian in the house. and Is that Chris Foster? There she is. Oh, my goodness. The one and only Chris Foster in the house. She just arrived? I think so. My goodness. Again, the traffic getting in here, Ken, it's kind of like Gillette on game day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's been a breakout season, and people want to see Arlington in the Pocock era. It's the Pocock era, and uh, it's a new, it's a new dawn, it's a dawning of a new day for Arlington lacrosse. They've got a... A little loose with the ball again yeah. in the offensive zone. Foster hacking away, and here come the Warriors. Not taking They're in a fast break situation. Oh, Curcio, there's a skip. A nice shot for the Warriors. It's number 14. And that is Tyler Drago, the Dragon, with a beautiful goal. As he, as he ripped that shot low, and I think that's Drago's second of the contest. Is that from Rocky, uh, Drago? Was Drago it? might have been a Rocky villain, yeah. He might have been one of the... Right, the, the guy from Russia, big... No, that was, uh, was that Drago? I know that was Dolph Lundgren who played the yeah. role, right? Wasn't it Drago? Was it Drago? It might have been. I All see. Right. I heard the new. Um, if you've seen that Creed movie, yeah, oh, that's a great one. Supposedly, the Creed, the next one, yeah, is Creed versus Drago. Oh son. my goodness! I really liked the Creed one, the last that one. That was excellent. Oh god, that was good. Michael Jordan played that role. Michael B. Jordan. Right. He was yeah, in. He was uh, supposedly did a great job in Black Panther. I've yet to see. I've yet that, to though. see that too, but everyone's talking about it. I'm not a big, you know, fan. Oh. The coach let it go. It looks like Brendan took a hit. And here comes number eight. Oh, what a shot and a save. Care, Care made it look and easy. And just seeing the water. Oh, Willie Care. Willie in the chocolate fact. Willie Wonka. Oh, look at. He's offside. Ref didn't call it. Curry goes through it. Here's a fast break wow. situation for Arlington. As they go man up. Curran over to Capillion. Capillion over to Brendan. Brendan back to Capillion. Inside tight. Beautiful pass by Capillion. And he and finds the magician. Out. Jonathan Capillion with a beautiful great, assist. Great turn. Right, well, he's a lefty as well. Yeah, right? well that's that just, yeah, Justy's got to have that one. I'm giving Justy some credit, but I'm giving a little bit more credit for Capillion for threading the needle and finding that beautiful assist. Yeah, well, it starts, but with, Justy, starts with Cully clearing that whole well, thing. It, uh, well, Cully is, it, it all starts with Cully this year. That's I mean, our best clearing yeah, option. Yeah. <laughs> Cully is Cully the, to he's a steamroll. He steamrolled right over that kid. And, uh, but Justy, he's I'll give you credit stands. for that. It was a beautiful turn. Justin, you knew what you were going to do right when you did it. 
and you did it. And great execution by Justin McKenney. Nice passing. And Clean a beautiful throw. pass. Yeah, right through by the by Capillion. Capillion only a sophomore. So is Justin. Uh, Justin. Um, I mean, yeah, Justin McKenney. And so the future is bright, and the Pocock era is just beginning. It's a new dawning. All right, here's a face-off. It's Cully Curran, number 23. He's got Hedgie on his left and Kohlberg on his right. Uh, in the back field uh, is the same. It is Curcio and Pescatori and Johnny Bowen. Uh, the attack also remains the same. It's Foster and uh, John Kerr and, of course, Justy. The magician. There's a ground ball, and who's coming up with it? Got to get low there. Edgy. Love it. Yeah. And it's Kohlberg with a catch and throw. Get the head up. Get the head up. There's OB. And he's knocked out of bounds. He's dispossessed. And, uh, and it's going to be Wakefield ball as a result. You got to keep that head up there and move the ball, young man. Get that ball middle. Uh, maybe you'll be spending the night in the box for that play. <laughs> no dessert All for right. you. Nice save, though. He's Again. playing good defense. And who's on that ball? Bowen rot knocked Care. it out of bounds. Brick wall this afternoon. Yeah. Doing a great yeah, job. Yeah, exactly. Will Care has been the... Will Care has been the, has been the uh, the, the senior leadership today has been outstanding. Bowen on defense, Curran on the ground balls, and Will Kerr and Nett. And there's Curran on that. Look at Cull look at Cully. Great defense. Tremendous. All right, watch Kobe with that uh, side door. Still, Bowen doing a great job keeping him away from the net. Yeah, we're a minute and a half left. Kohlberg on number 27. Robert Keegan, and nice defense there. Okay, good defense for the Arlington boys. Hedgy on the hunt. There's a shot from way outside. Care again. Yeah, care with another save. Bowen with some help for Bowen. Ball. Who's helping? Who's helping? Ball picked up clean. Oh, he shot it at the goalpost. Wow. And we're under a minute left in the quarter. What a game it's been. It's a 4-4 four four game. A nice slide by Ben Curcio. Excellent. Ben Curcio, number 11, with a lot of pop in his step. Even though he's not. Minute yeah. left. Minute left. Kohlberg on 27. Keegan. And great defense. Where's the slide? Nice slide by Hedgie. Oh, Michael Hedges with a beautiful slide. And the Arlington boys are falling in on defense. Cully Curran, a very tough defender. And all the Arlington boys stop him again. All and right. there's a... Oh, and Arlington comes away with it. Will's with it. Will Kerr is in the... Right. Will Kerr is locked in. He plays it over to Pescatori. Pesky's got lots of room. Half a minute left in the quarter. Arlington goes for the change. Pesky is stripped. Oh, Pesky got stripped. And here come the Arlington boys. Bowen wisely stays home. There's a cutter. Save by Kerr. Kerr's a goal. And with 15 seconds left in the third the quarter, a tie ball game. Oh, my God. Will Kerr is standing on his head between the pipes. Where's the slide? A nice slide by Pescatori. And another save by Kerr. Johnny Pescatori. And there's a Gilman. And a wise Gilman there, as Will Kerr has been the show today. Young Will Kerr. He is just filling it up. Oh, my goodness. And I'll talk about Will Kerr. He's a Northeastern committee. He's going to be playing next year in the city. He's a city kid. The proud, proud father, Mike Kerr, in the stands. Is Kim here? I didn't see Kim today. I mean, but Will, I see Will is just seeing everything. Oh, the cares have been Great synonymous stops. with Arlington lacrosse royalty. And, of course, there's Ellie Care, the oldest, who's at Villanova, and she's on the crew team. I think she's a coxswain. There's Chris Foster waving to the booth. Look at her. She's got her Foster grants on. Yes, she does. Look she at that. She does. Look at that. She is style. She is style, Foss. <laughs> and Foss knows it. He's the proud father and the proud husband. That I am. We have an all-star cast today from the, uh, an all-star crew, excuse me, from Arlington Community Media, Inc. Our lead cameraman, Alex Van Thong, AVT, the all-terrain vehicle. We've got Felix Ansel as our director today. Felix doing an excellent job over there, keeping everything under control. And our second camera, Felix uh, Moissand. It's tough with this 40-person crew at the I field know, trying to is, direct everything. Well, this is Arlington Community Media, Inc. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am your sports broadcaster, Ken Kohlberg, here with Jim Foster, and we have Hello. been treated once again, once again, for the highest quality lacrosse you can imagine. This is a drag-out battle between two rivals,
the Wakefield Warriors and the Arlington Spy Ponders. We are going into the fourth quarter of a tie game, four to four, in two teams that are both trying to get into the playoffs. Arlington, Arlington, one game under 500 with a three and four record. The Wakefield Warriors at a five, a perfect 500 record, five and five on the season. And here comes a battle in the midfield. All right, here we go. Karin looking to take it against Ryan Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick has been outstanding. Every Number three. Every possession important right now. Yeah, Fitzpatrick does the face-offs with a long pole. He's going to be playing at Garber Field next year, my alma mater, playing lacrosse at UMass Amherst. And he's got to be the proud son of some very, very proud parent, parents. So Ryan in a fight with Cully. Who's going to come away with it? Ball, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's still up there. Calvin Pike, it's anybody's ball, but it's Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh, Fitzpatrick with a beautiful pass, but a save by Kerr. And Fitzpatrick is unselfish. He's everywhere. Here's Colberg. Colberg, oh, a beautiful pass over to Curran. And a nice clear there. And here comes Cullen Best Curran. player of the day. Oh, right yeah, there. Cullen playing football. He does a bounce pass over to Foss. Foss patiently plays it behind the net. And Arlington wisely looking to use some clock here, Foss. What do you think? Yeah, just some showing some patience. That was the best clear we've seen all day. Oh, it was gorgeous. It great. It was gorgeous. But I'll tell you, that Ryan Fitzpatrick is something else. He drew and dish. He drew the defender. He made a beautiful pass. And uh, Kerr just made the save. I don't think uh, number 20, uh, Luke DeMello, got a lot of mustard on that shot. DeMello would have liked to have that one back. But in any event, uh, here we are, Foss, 11 minutes left in the fourth quarter with a tie game. And here comes Capillion and Capil I mean, not Capillion, uh, Care. Care over to Brendan McKenney. McKenney with a shot. It's deflected wide. Was that off the helmet? No, I think it was off a stick. But okay. Foster back backed it up nicely. So Foster has got the magician, Justin McKenney, on his left. Magic has a goal today. And uh, Foster looking to get in. Foster's got two? Two today. Yeah, Foster's got two. So who's got the Arlington goal? Justin's got Justin, one. Justin. Uh, Foster's uh, Jonathan, got two. Jonathan oh, right, Jonathan. Yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, That's right. All go. right. So the Arlington goal is all accounted for. Here's John Kerr. He does a little bit of a uh, shake and bake. Tries to get in. And he finds. Oh, a nice pass. Justin. Well, look at Justin. He's so smart. Justin shows lacrosse intelligence. He does not force the ball. Uh, he's a Jack DeValpine disciple, played many years for Mr. DeValpine in the youth program. And now I understand he's playing for some club team. And there's a nice pass. Just oh, oh, save! The oh, the save! Ryan oh, Chambers! Don't. Ryan Chambers is saying to Will Curran, I mean to uh, Will Kerr, look, buddy, you want to uh, be a spotlight player in, under the, in, the, uh, in the, between the pipes for Arlington? Well, I'm going to show you what I can do between the pipes for the Wakefield Warriors. That was a beautiful, yeah, valiant good, good, save. Good look by Arlington. A beautiful look by Arlington. But Chambers, Chambers is locked in back, back there uh, as well. So the goalies putting on a clinic. have really been putting on a clinic today. All right, the Arlington defense. There's uh, Luke, I know that's uh, Calvin Pike with the long pole. And Arlington... Uh, that shot was going wide. But Kerr, uh, yeah, but Care was there. So Care plays it over to Pesky. Right. Pescatori's got lots of space. I don't know what that was. He was looking for Kohlberg. And look at, oh, almost by Care. Jeez. Look at Fitzpatrick. Look at that. You see him pick it up and immediately see the open player? That's the mark of a Division I lacrosse player, number three. I'm telling you right now, right now, Foss, that kid's the real deal. I don't know if you saw it, but he picked it up in the backfield. No, and clean. He, picked it yeah, clean and, immediately and quick right. pass. That's going to create what's called the unsettled situation in lacrosse. It's what the game is all about. And Fitzpatrick, he gets that. He's going to be playing at Garber Field next year. All right, Wakefield boys, 4-4, four to four, 8 minutes, 40 seconds left. There's a hard shot and Care post. with another. Was it a post? I believe it was post. It came off hard. I hope it didn't come off Care's body because if it did, he's going to be feeling yeah, that, that one tomorrow. Would hurt. Maybe Shen. All right, eight and a half minutes left in the game. It's four to four. It has been a real humdinger today. Pescatori nicely gets out there. There's Pike and Kohlberg on the defense. Uh, the Arlington defense has been very, very solid. Both well the, connected. Yeah, both the defending the d defensive middies. 
midfield lines and of course the uh, the defensive line itself. David Pocock has got to be thrilled with what he's got uh, what he's got this year. Is Arlington playing tough with some very good teams? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, another save by Care. Ke oh, Will Care. The what human what highlight isn't film. he seeing today? He is the human highlight film. Oh, no, there they are. There's the whole family down there. There's Mike, and there's uh, there's Kim Care, and then there's some grandparents there, apparently. Oh, grandparents. Here's Kohlberg. Ben Kohlberg. Brings and, it to the offensive yeah, zone. And he Here floats we go, it Arlington. in. Nice play. Nice clear by number six, Kohlberg, and he sends it into Justin McKenney, the magician. Magician plays it back up top to Kelly, Kelly Curran, and uh, it has really been something else for the A-Town boys. Looks like Kohlberg sucking some wind over there on the bench for us. Well, he just cleared the ball, didn't he? Did he bring all the way up? Well, I don't know. He's a fine boy. Fine boy. Oh, nice pass! Oh! Not ready for it. No, the Capillion almost grabbed it with the left. And it's smothered nicely by Ryan Chambers. Good stick work. No oh, right. yeah. There's a nice clear by. Oh, and I. Yeah, but Capillion's back. Very nice getting back. Right oh, nice play by Calvin Pike! And Calvin Pike! That's swiping a kick. Uh oh. Uh oh. Settle down. The Woburn fans calling for settle. Or and Wakefield. Or Wakefield. And Wakefield does settle it down. Maybe there's some Woburn fans here, yeah. too. They just want to see some good lacrosse. They go behind the net to Angelina Jolie, number 25. Wakefield now looking to settle it down. Foss, we are in for a delightful uh, end of the game Under here. Six minutes, minutes left, yeah. and it's a four-to-four four ball game, and both teams are, be, are to be heavily commended for their performance today. Arlington, Spy, Ponder, Lacrosse at its absolute best. Pescatori, and uh, they're going to need a lot more than that to beat. Uh, oh, almost a blow, oh, almost a fast break. Pescatori has been again, outstanding. The, the clearing issues for yeah, Arlington yeah. have uh, been our Achilles heel. Yeah, they can work on the clears. They can work on the clears. But great stop again. Oh yeah. By Will Care. Oh yeah. But it's going to take a lot more than that to beat Will Care today, because he is again, just locked in back it. there. Yeah. Will Care has been the human highlight reel today. Uh, the absolute human highlight reel. And, nice uh, job by Joe Lee getting the ball back. Yeah, uh, Joe Lee has been outstanding. And it's finally... Uh, well, uh, you know, we can only ask Will for so much. Yeah, exactly. And that's Robert Guida, senior midfielder. And Wakefield takes the lead. And here comes Leo Manitti, number 24, looking to turn things around for the Spy Ponders. Manitti, number 24, is going to be going in to get this grounder and looking to help Cully Curran, the human vacuum cleaner. What's that? So we're five minutes, 25 seconds left. Arlington goes down by time. a goal. Plenty of time. Although goals are, have been tough to come by this afternoon. Well, they've been tough to come by all season long. I mean, uh, Arlington has, has not uh, had too many high-scoring games. And, uh, but you're right. Uh, it has been a particularly low-scoring game. Uh-oh, and Fitzpatrick. Starts to break. Yeah, Fitzpatrick is just, uh, he's Good just stick hungry. Good check. He's hungry. Oh, Fitzpatrick with a shot. I don't know if that was yeah. considered a shot. No, that was a pass. Oh, Arlington they didn't give ball. it to him. Fitzpatrick is not happy. And the ref is on Fitzpatrick's oh, side. They're going to call it back. They're going to yeah. have a meeting. Yeah, no, that, Fitzpatrick uh, is right. That was a shot. When you're a quality player like that, you get the benefit of the doubt. And they're going to call it Wakefield Ball I on the uh, yeah it's, it's on still, the Fitzpatrick still protestation undecided. on the Fitzpatrick protestation. No, I think it's remaining Arlington Ball. No, nope, it's uh, reversed. It's reversed. All right, so Fitzpatrick with the long Wishful pole is on offense. On part. Look at him with the long. Oh, Bowen says no. Look at Bowen says no to Jolie in a nice slide by Curcio. The fo uh, oh, let the way the whistle call. I don't know about that. Maybe on the Curcio slide. Curcio doesn't like he the call. I think shutting the door on that side yeah, of the field. Yeah, I think Curcio is going to the sin bin. And uh, Fitzpatrick is very, very patient. There's a shot, a save by Kerr. So we're going to see a man-up situation now, and it looks like the Wakefield Warriors have an opportunity, Foss, to uh, insert the dagger 
in the Young Spy Ponders not team. Yet, not yet. Never say die. Never say die, but I'll tell you right now, this is a key situation on a penalty Chair's kill. Chair's been having a spectacular oh, game. Oh, my goodness. That. And Arlington Pocock goes with the other soft one, number 19, Luki Berarducci, son of Mike Berarducci, another famous Arlington coach. Huge possession right Huge here. possession. Berarducci, the, the senior, Mike Berarducci, has coached not only in the youth lacrosse program, but he's a legend in youth soccer uh, as well. And so he's got number 19, uh, Luki Berarducci, trying to on, on the kill with, uh, with Calvin Pike, number 22, his sophomore. And it looks like number 24, Manitti, out there looking on the kill. But the Wakefield boys looking to put a dagger, and there's a shot! Save Care. Oh, uh, too bad. But tough the rebound, bounce. yeah, tough bounce off Great the stick. Great stop again, Will. Yeah, Care is just standing on his head today. There's a loose, loose ball. ball. Picked up cleanly by number 19. And a shot. And Care was ball. first. Yes, yeah. Will Care. Oh, my goodness. Arlington Spy Ponders, they're Will Care and friends. They are Will Care and friends. Manitti. He takes one hit. He takes two hits. And the Wakefield Warrior, you got to get rid of that ball, young man. You got to get rid of that ball. He had Calvin Pike. It looked like the magician was open, but the Wakefield boy said, "Uh, uh." Say, look. Great job by Will Care. Yeah. Just need to get that ball back in the offensive zone. Yeah. You got to get rid of that biscuit. Yes. Uh, and uh, he Wakefield had did a great job closing him out. Yeah. Well, uh, Arlington. Uh, four minutes left, down by a goal, and it is, uh, it looks like it is still, are they still in a man up? Yeah, they're still in a man up. And it's going to be Wakefield, uh, whose ball is it? I, well, somehow Ooh. we get it, Paul. Oh. I don't know what happened there. Maybe we'll Man take it, though. Maybe Manitti got pushed. Hedgie goes right by number 14, who oh, took his ticket, the Drago. Oh, my goodness, he's in trouble. Oh, Hedgie comes out of the back. Terrific Hedgie move. comes out of the pack. Oh, Michael Hedges, beautiful wow, patience. This kid it, knows what he's doing. No. Right there. Yeah, he does. Hedges. I thought I thought that window was closed. He slipped right through. He did. Hedges knows what he's doing. He that got through two long sticks. Good stick work, good footwork. Way oh, to go, yeah. Hedges. All right, so Arlington with a chance to knot it up. Foster <laughs> sends it over to Capillion. Capillion up on top. Brendan comes back in. Here's Capillion. Capillion wisely settles numbers. it down. Capillion sends it over to Justy. Justy McKenney. Justy, the Even. proud son of Heather Bryant. There's Foss. He's got his work. He's not going to be taking it into Fitzpatrick, so he wisely skips a pass, sends it over to Capillion. Capillion goes in with the left. He takes a shot. He shot it wide. And Justin McKenney, nice backup by the Magician. Good shot on goal. Here yeah, we it go. Was. It was. Good hard, low shot. With three minutes left. Arlington trailing by a goal. His Foster, he's got Ryan Fitzpatrick on him. He better be careful there. Fitzpatrick will take his change, and he uh, does. Yep, just uh, yeah. not to lose. Yeah, you got to be aware. Oh, and a trip on. And he got it. And it's a foul penalty. Uh, Fitzpatrick got knocked down. And oh, my goodness, what did he. He's okay, though. All right, so it's a penalty and uh, on John Kerr. Kerr didn't like it. Arlington in a man down situation Three again. Three minutes. And Leo goes back in, number 24. Oh, no, is that? All right, man up for Wakefield. Yeah, 24 is Manitti. So Manitti on the man down with Calvin Pike, Johnny Pescatori, Ben Curcio, Johnny Bowen, and uh, that's the five of them. Two minutes left. Oh, a dagger. A dagger. That's a tough one. Number 27, Robert Keegan, and he got all that one. Keegan ripped a nice low hard shot. And uh, the Arlington boys all right. uh, running out of time here, down by two goals. Here's a critical possession. Pocock goes with the hedgehog. He goes with the hedgehog. And Cully Curran in the middle. And uh, and Brendan McKenney on the far side. So Arlington's got to come up with a possession here and get to the hole quickly, stop the clock, and then look to get it again. Two possession game, and uh, this is a critical possession right here, uh, uh, Foss. Yes, well, you know, if Fitzpatrick comes away with this one, then uh, uh, Hedgie get low. Hedgie, what do you see? Oh! Almost, but not close enough. No, we almost had it. And Luke DeMella comes away with it. 
And so they're going to give it to Fitzpatrick, and someone's going to have to take it out of his hands, which is not an easy thing to do. Uh, Two long sticks in the offensive zone. Yeah. All right, now we got one. Well, I wouldn't really. Fitzpatrick plays with a long stick, but he's got the dexterity with that long stick of a regular midi. And uh, so... Uh, Wakefield Coming on two at, minutes yeah, here, so we probably going to be patient with the ball. Yeah, they're looking to work the clock a little oh. bit. Joe Lee, Alexander Joe he Lee. He's ready to pull the trigger there. And uh, it looks like Bowen just wants to hammer him. <laughs> or Curran, somebody wants to hammer him. Cur Curran. So Joe Lee and Fitzpatrick are out there, and it's hard to take it away from Joe Lee. They're going to have to double team them. So Wakefield in the rope a dope fuss. It's yeah, a rope a dope. Yeah, just back and forth. Curry tries to give him a haircut. And Joe Lee. Now, can you just run out the clock like this, Ken? I, I don't again, know. I don't know lacrosse well enough. That uh, Joe you, Lee's just I held on to the ball the, if you're for in about the, two minutes. If you're in the box, you can. And Fitzpatrick has got a wand. He's got a wand. And We're going to have to take a chance and double-team, yeah, no, yeah, 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 it's going to be tough to take ball it. Back. I could see Fitzpatrick running away with it. I mean, who's going to... Uh, maybe not. He plays it over to... Uh, Just playing some rope-a-dope yeah. is... Timeout, OB. I don't no, know what Arlington happened. Out of ball. bounds. I think he stepped out of bounds. Arlington gets the ball back. All right, minute left. Someone's got to take it coast to coast. Could it be Cully? I think Cully just got to run this thing all the way yeah. into the zone. Yeah, well, Cully plays football, so he could, he's not a running back, though. He's a safety. Oh, there's a hack. Wow. And here we go. Pesky, what do you see? Oh, Pesky. Let's get rid of that. Oh, what a check. Oh, what a check. A beautiful play by number eight, the sophomore, Mason Brennan. All right. The time is now here. Mason. 40 seconds. Is that Mason Brennan? Oh, I wish we should him? ride him out. Excuse me? Time out. Is that, excuse me, sir, is that number eight, Mason Brennan? Looks like. Cam Souza, okay. Out, yeah, we've had that wrong. So number eight, Cam Souza just made a very, very uh, great rush up the field for Wakefield. And uh, the Wakefield boys are in the catbird seat now. They got a two yeah, goal six, lead, four. 30 seconds left. And the beaming Wakefield fans are thinking that they've come away with a road win, and they very well might have. But you never say it's over until it's over. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a beautiful afternoon here tonight. Uh, at Pierce Field in Arlington. The visiting Wakefield Warriors have played a tremendous game, and so have the Arlington Spy Ponders. Very close game, classic matchup, clean game, not a lot of penalties. No, tight, We've seen well some, played. Yeah, we've seen some outstanding lacrosse from Will Kerr, the goalie, senior captain. Spectacular work in the net today. His number one game of the season, uh, and he's had a good season, so that's saying a lot. Uh, the Arlington defense has been outstanding as they have all season long. John Bowen has really organized a, uh, a steel curtain. And uh, it has been a lot of positive signals for first-year coach David Pocock. A lot Pocock. of things to like about the team. Very much so. they got Coach Roy Medeiros, uh, who has got to be pleased. He also uh, is at the helm for the JV, and they've done very well. They're coming on next. They're led by Matty Lucian. Uh, Lucia has been outstanding this year for the JVs. Uh, All right, need to make some magic happen. We got 33 seconds uh, left in the fourth period here for Arlington. Yeah, it's going to take some magic, uh, and the ball is in the hands of Robert Guida, the senior number 16. He's double teamed by Kohlberg team. and by Pescatori. Corner here. Kohlberg is net. on the hunt. Bowen does Push a hit. Him out. Kohlberg with a hit from behind on number 19. He came away with it, but. I think just a push was called. Yeah. Looked like a push on Arlington. I'm not sure. I think we got him out of bounds. Oh, was it an out of bounds? I think oh, so. great pressure for Arlington. All right. A beautiful play by Good Arlington. Good work. And that double team, beautiful behind the net. All right. Care sends There's it all the way down. All the way field, down. Uh, Look at Justin it. Hustle. Great hustle by Justin McKenna. Had to take a chance. Though. And they had to take a chance. 
16 seconds left in the contest. The Spy Pond is down by two. I have to imagine they'll just have the captain kind of run, run it out with the ball. At this yep, point. yep. Here comes the captain, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ryan, we can tell you from Arlington, it has been a pleasure to watch you play today. And uh, hopefully we'll get out there next year and watch you play. Goalie in sends it all the way down into the zone. See, because what right I can into Bowen's hands. Into Bowen's hands. What I can tell you, Mr. Fitzpatrick, my daughter Anna is at UMass. She's a soft, uh, freshman. She'll be a sophomore next year. Oh, hey, oh Justin nuts. McKinney with a goal at the buzzer. <laughs> and, Where, you uh, know what? McKinney Inc. had been quiet. McKinney uh, Inc. had been quiet. But it is a final score. It is Ryan Fitzpatrick and the Wakefield Warriors. One for the stat book there. Six in Arlington Spy Ponders. Five and an excellent lacrosse game. We have been treated to some fantastic lacrosse. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ken Kohlberg, your sports broadcaster. I'm here with Jim Foster, our color commentator. On behalf of Arlington Community Media, Inc., we are going to sign off. We'll say thank you first to our director, Felix and Sel Felix, thank you very much. Thank you, Felix Masada, second camera. Alex Van Thong, our camera. We're signing off from Arlington Pierce Field. Thank you, have and night. have a great night.